hello and welcome to the second and final presidential debate. This debate is going to be town hall style where indecisive voters get the chance to ask our two candidates questions that they may have. The rules are fairly simple. We have six voters which will get one question which means that we have three questions for each candidate. The asker will have the chance to ask a question for a candidate and they can respond. The other candidate can also make a response if they feel the need to do so. We have many questions, so I'll immediately get to our first voter, and we can meet our two candidates. I'd like to welcome our first speaker, the congressman for Pennsylvania's 12th district, Dan Rich, that specializes in economics. Hello, this first question is for Zane. With all your talk about crony capitalism, I was wondering what kind of businesses for America do you support? Do you support retail or manufacturing? I support manufacturing jobs all the way. They're the kind of jobs our country needs as they typically offer the workers the harshest work environments and frankly, they need that. Personally, I think that a Chuck E. Cheese as working environment is the best for people due to the fun atmosphere. Next, we have a local teacher named Peter Dees, who has worked for Greg Middle School for over 10 years. This question goes to Caillou. What is your stance for educational funding? Do you think we need to invest more? Yes, I believe that educational funding, especially for recreation for kids, is important. We need to give them vouchers to go to Chuck E. Cheese, says. Vouchers? At that point, why don't we just give them money? It's the same thing. Kids shouldn't pay for the basic right to have fun. Moving along, we have an engineer named Mark who works in the energy sector and is concerned with keeping America powered. This question goes to Zane. What kind of energy do you support? Do you think we need to invest more in green energy? Absolutely not. Oil and coal is all we need. There's nothing that goes better than capitalism and crude oil. For me, I'm in favor of all energy types. Well, anything that will keep our Chuck E. Cheese powered. Next, we have a college student named Tobias Gibbs, who is an activist for the rights of youth. This question goes to Caillou. Do you believe that as a country we should give kids more rights? Absolutely. I think kids deserve to do anything that they want. I think many of the restrictions in age are unjust, especially restrictions on joining many social networks. Amazingly enough, I do agree with my opponent. I always found them to be pretty stupid, considering that I knew someone who was completely allowed to make a Facebook account for a dog, so I'm perfectly fine with that. Next, we have a boy named Lorenzo, who was a worker at a local park that has attended and helped many different forms of wildlife. This question goes to Zane. Do you think it's important for us to protect natural reserves? Personally, I think they get in the way of progress. All they do is get in the way of the noble capitalists who only want to expand their business. I do think that Chuck E. Cheese's need to be protected, so I guess I'm for them. Now for our final speaker, Harvey, a man who is the chief of police in the city of Chicago. This question goes to Caillou. What is your stance on police? Do you think they should be allowed to arrest anyone? No, they shouldn't be allowed to arrest kids. 
I think it is absolutely wrong for them to put any type of punishment for children. You're probably saying that because you keep getting in trouble. No, I say this because many cases are very unjustified for me. Oh, please. You nearly got arrested for going to DisneyChannel.com without your parents' permission. Everyone knows you need permission to go on there. <laughs> well, it seems like we reached the end of our debate. I want to remind everyone to vote on November 8th, and I want to thank you all for watching.